Good morning. Our web speed is finally catching up here. Uh, do you ever think about your clothing that you're going to wear in heaven? Clothes to enter into heaven? Do you, what do you think about that? Uh, what, are you, what are you going to put on when you get ready to go home to be with Jesus? Well, it'll already be provided, let me tell you that. Uh, according to Galatians 3, 26, it says this, For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male or female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Max Lucado writes an interesting illustration on that. <clears throat> in his book, The Back Door. It says, I make no claim on being a good golfer, but I love to play golf and watch golf, and on good nights I even dream golf. So when I was invited to attend the Masters Golf Tournament, I was thrilled. A pass to the Masters is the golfer's holy grail. Mine came via pro golfer Scott Simpson. Off we went to Augusta National Country Club in Georgia, where golf heritage hangs like the moss from the trees. I was a kid in the candy store. It wasn't enough to see the course and walk the grounds. I wanted to see the locker room where the clubs of Ben Hogan and Paul Azinger are displayed. <clears throat> but they wouldn't let me in. The guard stopped me at the entrance. I showed him my pass, but he shook his head. I told him I knew Scott, but that didn't matter. Only caddies and players, he explained. Well, he knew I wasn't a player or a caddy. Caddies are required to wear white cover hulls. My clothing was a dead giveaway. So I left knowing that I had made it all the way to the door but was denied entrance. Golf is one requirement for entrance. Uh, God has one requirement for entrance into heaven that we be clothed in Christ. When someone says, take away my sinful rags and clothe me in your grace, Jesus is in an act visible only to the eyes of heaven, removes the stained robe and replaces it with the robe of righteousness. His robe of righteousness. What, Jesus, what did Jesus do for me and you? He put on our coat of sin and wore it to the cross. As he died, his blood flowed over our sins and they were cleansed. Because of this, we have no fear of being turned away at the door of heaven. That's a great thought for today to begin this Monday that we have a promise into heaven. <coughs> May your name be written in the Lamb's book of life and you'll be clothed for heaven. God bless you. Have a good Monday.